I didn't feel like I was treated like an adult at all. Just a child having a child. Obviously I knew it was going to be painful. I didn't think that people wouldn't believe that I was in pain. She gave me perfidine, didn't tell me that I couldn't get up and I fell flat on my face. They didn't believe that I was in full labour and almost let me have her on a toilet. <laughs> my name is Millie Bikovic. I'm 22 and I am mother to 22-month-old Rihanna. I belong to a group of young mums who meet once a week. Our ITV Fixers project is trying to tackle the ways we were treated as first-time young mums in hospital. I want your baby to be born. I want to know what's going on. And I want your baby to I be born. I want to know what is going on. <laughs> and I'm really scared. No, that's good. ITV Fixers have put us in touch with Lindsay Ingram, a local director. Play your actions, OK, to win. Lindsay has helped us act out some role play on our own experiences. We have already explained that she is only three centimetres dilated. Can you please talk there is to nothing me we can do apart and from. Listen to me. It got to a stage where the pain was so much for me I needed some form of pain relief. They just offered me paracetamol and just said, You think this is pain? You wait and see what's to come. And I gave birth two hours later. I just didn't feel listened to, I didn't feel respected. With ITV Fixers, we're hoping to create a piece of drama that will highlight the issues that some of us have experienced. So there were some really interesting things you brought up in those impros. If you're going to make a play out of some of that, you've got to focus in on the issues that are most important to you. We're going to make a DVD that we can show to healthcare professionals, midwives, and then hopefully show to first-time mums as well. I was 20 when I had Rihanna. She was born five weeks prematurely and we spent five weeks in hospital. My issues were the aftercare. It would have really helped if the nurses, the hospital staff had sat me down, explained what had happened, why it had happened, and maybe why they couldn't give me a longer prognosis on whether she could get out. But it took two weeks and then my mother finally asking to get the answer to those questions. That made me feel really low, um, like I was invisible. It does strike chords because I had my children 30 years ago. I was facing similar situations. The loneliness of that situation where it's just you and the lack of information and one is very fearful. When it goes right, uh, the relationship between the midwife and the patient can really create an amazing experience. We're trying to achieve that and hopefully improve the experience for other, other young mums in the future.